All right, guys, today we're going to be exploring one of Kansas City's hottest suburbs, Parkville, Missouri. Uh, I brought my wife along for the ride, Kendra. Hi. Uh, she's an interior designer and going to have all kinds of great insight as well. So well, I'm excited for it, and we're going to get into it right after this. What's happening guys? If you're new to the channel, my name's Sean Van Horn. I'm a local real estate agent. My wife's Kendra Van Horn. She's an interior designer and uh, we have a team here in Kansas City. Uh, we love working with relocating buyers. My phone number, email address is below. Um, I am licensed in Missouri and Kansas. Uh, so you can get a hold of me anytime, day or night. I've got your back when it comes to moving to Kansas City. Also, be sure to like, subscribe, leave a comment, hit that bell notification so that you're getting notified anytime I'm dropping these knowledge bombs on you. All right, so we're here in downtown Parkville right now. Uh, we're going to explore about five different subdivisions today and then just exploring Parkville and all that it has to offer. Uh, right now, we're in the historic downtown Parkville. We're on the street the main street that kind of goes right down as you can kind of see behind me get a good view uh, they have a lot of cool stuff little shops uh, there's a coffee shop across the street that's actually one of the oldest uh, you can kind of see behind me it was this uh, it was used to be a post office back in 1840 and they used that until 1962 which is kind of cool uh, Parkville a lot of people don't realize this but it actually it was established uh, before Kansas City was established and so uh, it's kind of neat, uh, a little quaint town, a lot of character, and we're going to kind of show you what it all has to offer today, and we're excited uh, for you to come along for the ride. So we're gonna be heading to our first subdivision. So we're gonna go to the bluffs first, but um, you know, Parkville is a really unique subdivision. Uh, it has, you know, it's kind of tucked away right north of the river and just minutes from downtown, minutes from the airport. So it's a really hot spot for people when they're looking geographically for where to live in Kansas City. Uh, you're gonna find the average home price in Parkville a little higher than the rest of the metro. Uh, average home price in Parkville is around 400,000. But there's also just a lot of other houses kind of all in the mix and definitely houses for lower than that and some that are higher than that. Uh, really, when you get into the Northland, you can get a lot more for your money uh, versus, you know, say like a place like Overland Park uh, or some other suburb around that area. So, um, but yeah, like today we're gonna kind of drive around and show you some of the hot subdivisions within this uh, suburb uh, of Parkville. So stay tuned. Kind of the bluffs is kind of this little tight neighborhood. Uh, it's really cool. It, it kind of overlooks the city, uh, kind of a, a, the hills and kind of a, a big field and into the river and uh, sort of over the river. It has a huge view. It's really high up in the air. Um, but the houses are really cool. Uh, they're like 80s houses, but a lot of them were remodeled and updated and have a very cool look to them. Um, well, I guess Kendra, you'd probably have a better idea on the design sense of that. But. Yeah, I thought they had tons of character. They were really neat. You could tell some people had gone in and renovated some. Um, just super, super unique. Felt very um, like kind of artsy. Yeah, it's cool. And I was looking at, you know, um, there's like nothing for sale right now in the neighborhood, um, but obviously things are moving quick and uh, inventory's low right now. Uh, we're looking at inventory, you know, three times lower than normal, which is pretty normal across uh, the nation. But uh, the average house price in that neighborhood was around 400. So it was like between 380 and, and 420 were the prices of the homes. But man, you get a lot for your money. You get amazing views. Um, really cool trees and, and just a really fun vibe um, and you kind of set up really high so it's, it's a cool spot uh, the bluff popping up some pictures of the different neighborhoods like the bluffs there's a lot of sold houses and I can kind of help you guys get a good um, some pictures of some houses that have already sold so you can get a good idea of what those look like <laughs> Oaks right now which is a massive sub
subdivision uh, here in Parkville. Uh, these are there's a lot of new development going on as well as well as some houses that are existing and been around for a little bit. Uh, your average price point in this neighborhood is going to be anywhere from six to seven hundred thousand, but you're getting quite a bit a lot. I mean, these are you know your thirty-seven to four thousand square foot houses, um, and like I said, a lot of new development, new construction going on as well. But it's really unique uh, what they've tried to do with this. It, even in the newer construction part, they're trying to reserve a lot of the landscaping, and so you can see there's a lot of still uh, very mature trees around, which. It's kind of unheard of when you get into new development is usually you don't see any trees. So it's nice that they're doing that. Uh, they put a big emphasis on the nature trail walks and just the surrounding area and the environment. And that's kind of really important just in Parkville in general. And they've kind of really tried to hold on to that when this Thousand Oaks subdivision. So I'm gonna kind of pop up some pictures of some different houses, uh, the inside. Again, there's not a lot available. Uh, there is some new construction houses available, but I'm just gonna kind of um, show you a little slideshow of some different houses to kind of take a look at, so you can kind of get a good idea of what uh, what Thousand Oaks has to offer. Um, but yeah, totally different, you know, from the last place we looked at. Uh, it's, just a, it's a whole different type of vibe here. Again, these are, you know, houses that were built, uh, again, like from probably, the, you know, the 2000s on up until, you know, houses that are currently under construction, so. I think what I love about this neighborhood is that it's set it kind of sits back. Um, it feels kind of nestled into Parkville and it, um, you know, if you are interested in building and doing a new build, this is a great place for that. Um, the homes are beautiful, tons of pools, tons of amenities, nature trails. This would be like a really, really great place to raise kids. Um, and you're super close to the highways. Uh, so I think this is just, this is a beautiful neighborhood. So Creekside is uh, its kind of a brand new development. Uh, it's, it's an interesting deal because it's on the very western tip of Parkville and uh, it's kind of a combination of apartments, townhomes, and single family homes. So there's rentals and then things to buy as well. So it's really unique. And what's really unique is the um, the newer homes are kind of a smaller single family home, but it's brand new construction for right at starting at 290, which is um, you know really really affordable for being a brand new uh, brand new subdivision. So, but uh, yeah, I mean it's kind of a, a brand new thing happening and something to definitely check out. Yeah, I think they're looking to develop this whole area over here with shops, and it looks like back there they are having apartment homes with retail sitting below it. So they're kind of building their own little community over here, which could be really fun um, to get in on that while it's new and fresh. So the National uh, is a really cool golf community. Uh, these homes are around that million dollar price range. Uh, you're getting these really nice homes, um, you know, walkout basements right onto the golf course. Kind of these um, luxury, it's definitely a luxury community, um, but it has a lot to offer. Um, I'm actually going to let my wife talk about it a little bit. Uh, you know, she actually has worked the golf course before <laughs> as a beer, beer cart girl. So. Beverage cart. Or beverage cart girl. Uh, so, yeah, what do you think, Kendra? So the National is, um, like Sean said, it's a really beautiful established um, community here. You have the National Golf Course and then you have the Deuce, um, which is National 2. And so you get two golf courses over here. Um, and the homes are just immaculate. Like it's a gorgeous place to live. Um, probably one of the nicer places around Parkville. Um, very high-end homes, luxury to the max. Um, you would be top-notch uh, with these homes and living here. So it's just, it's really beautiful down here. Again, you're located in between two major highways. Um, the schools are so great over here too. Um, so really, this is, this is just a very 
profound place to live. Yeah, yeah. it is. I mean, a lot of people, um, you know, they pride themselves on living at the National. So um, definitely a really cool place. I mean, if you're if you're a golfer, on, if you're a golfer, yeah, this is the place to yeah, be definitely. in Kansas City. Yeah, for sure. So the uh, Parkville is interesting, you know, we're in the old downtown part and then this kind of newer part up here as well. So there's a lot of shopping and restaurants and you get kind of the best of both worlds, uh, different parts. Now we're kind of in the north, uh, northeast part of Parkville, kind of getting closer into the Kansas City Metro and I-29 highway. Um, and uh, we're going to be heading into our last stop, Riss Lake. Um, Kendra, you can turn it around. Yeah. Yeah, this is a really pretty area in, in uh, Parkville. There's a little private lake. And I think people actually have boats on. Um, and we're about to go tour this neighborhood um, up here, at kind of kind of at the front of Parkville, you could say. Yeah, yeah, I would say that. Um, you know, this is probably gonna, as far as price point is concerned. I mean looking closer to what Thousand Oaks was, kind of that six, seven hundred thousand dollar price point. Maybe a little bit higher, um, but that's kind of where we're at as far as this one goes. So that's, we're kind of hitting all the different prices so you guys can check it out, but there's...